It's a big weekend, 2011, and that was Greg James. Slightly uh, distracted right now, because I was just getting quizzed by Will I Am, and we're, uh, we're sitting together as if we're some sort of a band. It feels like I'm actually in the Black Eyed Peas right now. Uh, hello, thank you for joining Hi. us. Thank you, man. What's up, man? How you doing? Uh, now, you may not know this, but you've actually already, already even made an appearance on today's show. Fergie, we caught you rocking out to Tiny Temper a little bit earlier. Tiny on. Temper. What is it about him and the Americans? You guys seem to love him. He's doing really well over there at the he's moment, got, right? He's got this nice flair. He's got a nice flavor. Right. He's got that accent. There you go. Yeah, you he got that sound, you know? <laughs> like electro hip hop mixed Tiny together. So. Right, I thought you were talking about his accent there. You're getting a bit mad at me for having an English accent as well. I'm sorry. Guilty. What are you going to do? We get okay, a big temper. Now, it's festival <laughs> season again. I actually saw you. I think it was in Tea in the Park last year when you were in Scotland performing yeah, and you had an incredible set. You had that amazing DJ booth that came up halfway through the set and you did a big DJ set as well. Can we expect anything like that from you guys tonight? Is that going to happen? No, not tonight. No, no DJ gigging tonight. We just uh, played a lot of our songs that DJs play. Yeah. We dropped our new single, uh, Don't Stop the Party, produced by DJ Ammo. And uh, we're excited about that one. It's like a harder electro with like, you know, early 80s Blondie infusion. It's pretty fresh. Yeah, it definitely seems as though you guys are, uh, uh, without doubt, sort of leaning much more towards the dance and towards the 80s. Would you say being in the Euro and being in the UK and being in Europe has changed your sound ever so slightly? Have the festivals helped the way that you're that you're going direction-wise at the moment? Well, it's really going to clubs, really. You know, Australia played a big role in that. Of course, the UK, um, France, and uh, just the underground dancing. Yeah. The, all these new DJs making beats, you know, on laptops uploading them online and sharing new perspectives. It keeps, you know, Apple and I hungry, making new beats. Yeah. Yeah, so it hip -hop, just... Hip hop has always been about, you know, incorporating different styles of music. Um, you know, if you think about back in the days when you had uh, Jungle Brothers doing Girl Out House You, you had Technotronic doing Pump Up The Jam. It was going into the evolution of what hip hop is. Yeah. We're a hip hop group that is able to incorporate different sounds. And right now we're in, we're in the era of the electric static funk. Right, okay, we well, are definitely not shy of incorporating sounds because you did that with the Time Dirty bit. That's like a, a classic 80s dance record, 80s pop record, and you guys made it a massive... I'm sorry, I'm completely distracted by what you're wearing on your feet. Can we just get a shot of this? This has just completely thrown me. Look at that. These are my exclusive shoes. are called Taboo Deltas. Look at that. You like get them on tabudelta.com. That's ridiculous. All right, so the time dirty bit, sorry. Um, ha what happened in the studio with that? Did someone just suddenly say, okay, so cool, really, let's put was, these two records together? It was really, no, it was a part of a DJ gig. Okay. Um, Apple and I flew out to Ibiza, and uh, I was in my room trying to figure out what my set was going to be, and I wanted to do a, a crazy sick mashup of, like, unexpected. Right. What, what are two things that don't go together? You know, and that was that. And then to switch it up, you know, to, to switch it to the dirty bit and that beat that should not be chilling with, you know, I had the time of my life. Yeah, it yeah, should yeah. not, but that peak as it peaks and climaxes and dirty bit and that beat just drops like what? That's just mad ill. Yeah. Okay, so you and Apple take care of production. Are you guys working with anyone next? What's next in terms of who you're working with, producing for, in fact? Uh, right now we just focus on this, this, this run that we're about to do, the festivals in Europe, um, some shows in America, and you know, videos for our next singles, trying to figure out how we do that and tour. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Do you know what I have to ask you, um, Apple in particular, I mean, what is it about festivals here in Europe and in the UK in particular as well? Because I saw you at Glastonbury, I believe, at the jazz stage, and you went from there to the main stage, and you've sort of gone from the smaller stages onto the bigger stages, and you're being accepted much more now. Um, what is it about the festivals that you guys uh, love so much? I think it's the, uh, the freedom. It's just uh, the raw energy, you know? Uh, we've been doing, like, big stadium shows, but these shows are, like, more, like, really raw. Everybody's ready to get dirty and just... You can just feel the energy, you know what I mean? It doesn't take a lot of bells and whistles. It's got to, it just comes from your, from inside and raw energy, and that's why we love about it. Okay. Now, for anyone out there who doesn't actually own the beginning, what are they missing out on? Because, I mean, it's a, a huge record. The time day bit was absolutely massive. What are they missing out on, Fergie? Well, a couple of the songs that I feel uh, really personal with are a song that my, my uh, husband plays around the house all the time, and I want him to shut it up already. It's called Whenever. <laughs> And it's kind of a slightly more of a, you know, big girls don't cry, meets meet me halfway kind of kind of uh, more more intimate kind of dance song, and uh, kind of ethereal. And uh, the situation, which is on our deluxe version, which is which is actually uh, 
when, when Will and I were having a tiff, it was I wrote it, the okay. lyric about him, okay. and and it was it was it's I don't know it's a beautiful thing. It, just, right. it described our situation at the time, and it was a way for me to uh, kind of have therapy in the lyrics, and it's kind of just 80s rock. Okay, a fair bit. play. All right, well, look, um, the guys had an absolutely incredible set uh, a little bit earlier on. And if you haven't seen anything or heard anything about it, check this out. Here is the Black Eyed Peas, The Big Weekend, 2011.